Hello, Dave Graybill, FishingMagician.com, and today I am in the National Wildlife Refuge here in Central Washington. The northern boundary of the refuge begins right below O'Sullivan Dam on Potholes Reservoir. There's over 30,000 acres within the boundaries of the refuge, and the landscape here is cliffs and canyons and grasslands and sage and many very popular fishing lakes. Within the boundaries of the National Wildlife Refuge is the Seep Lakes area. There's over 50 lakes in the Seep Lakes area and today I'm going to take you on a tour of some of the more popular lakes within that area. I'm going to start the tour of the many lakes within the Seep Lakes area at Corral Lake, which is also near Blythe and Chucker. These three lakes are in a series down the valley here behind me. Corral is the largest of the three lakes at 92 acres, and there is a rough boat launch here and on Blythe, and Chucker is a walk-in lake. All of the lakes receive plants of catchable rainbows every year in the spring. And so there's lots of hungry trout waiting for you here. There are also some largemouth bass and crappie available in Corral Lake. These are the first ones that you encounter when you travel from the west to Potholes Reservoir. And the entrance to this area is right across the road from Mardon Resort on Potholes Reservoir. Right at the east end of O'Sullivan Dam, you'll find this gravel road that leads you into the refuge and to Soda Lake, which is one of the more popular lakes in the whole refuge. It's very accessible. There's a great population of walleye in the lake. On the Dave Grable YouTube channel, you will find a video on fishing for walleye in Soda Lake. And it's also populated with smallmouth bass, perch, crappie, and other spiny ray species. A great place to try within the refuge. One of the first lakes that you encounter when you enter the Seep Lakes area is Katy Lake. Just below me, you can see that it's a small lake, but it receives annual plants, has great shore access, and is particularly popular with those that fish from a float tube or a pontoon boat. The next lake that you find as you travel into the area is Marco Polo. Trout anglers access this small, long, and narrow lake via the trails, and there's great shore access. Sage Lake is another one that's a destination for trout fishermen. The lake is regularly planted with rainbow trout. The shores are accessible by trail and it's popular with people that cast from shore or carry a float tube or pontoon boat to its shores. Now I have arrived at Long Lake. This lake keeps anglers busy because of its very large variety of species. Everything from rainbow trout to walleye, largemouth, smallmouth bass, bluegill, perch, crappie, you name it, you'll find it here in Long Lake. This is North Teal Lake. This has been a favorite of trout anglers for many years. Next, I'll show you a quick view of South Teal.
This is South Teal Lake, another trout lake here in the Seep Lakes area. I had to just stop here for a minute and show you some of the views you will see as you travel through the Seep Lakes area. This is Heart Lake. You can see there's an access road that allows people to drive down to the shore. And then there's trails that lead up both sides of this lake that is inhabited by good numbers of rainbow trout. This is Canal Lake, one of the most popular trout lakes in the Seep Lake area. You can see here, there's a handicapped fishing pier. Also, there's camping available here and a vault toilet. Makes it very popular with anglers who visit the Seep Lake area. This is another view of Canal Lake that shows another handicapped fishing pier. And also there's a small rough boat launch that allows people to access the larger portions of this trout lake. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this tour of the Seep Lakes area within the National Wildlife Refuge. There's over 8,000 acres here to explore the scenery, the landscape, not to mention great trout fishing at many of the lakes. And I should also mention there's some very good spiny ray lakes that offer fishing for largemouth and smallmouth bass, bluegill, crappie, walleye. It's a long list. You could spend a weekend or a week here exploring this beautiful high desert landscape and enjoy the fishing. Grant County offers so many wonderful fishing opportunities, such as the ones that I've just shown you. But if you want to learn more about other great fishing available here in Grant County, as well as the amenity and events and other activities available, log on to tourgrantcounty.com.